Welcome to the Nerds from Work, your weekly escape from the world of geeks, nerds, and basically old men who no longer want to do conventions. I'm your host, Jason Miller, and with me as always, we've got Josh Tankersley. That's all you're getting. Brandon Miller, wherever he is. Oh, hello. hello. And mm. Ruig Baje. What's up? Pizza. Pineapple okay. pizza. Forgot where everybody is sitting. <laughs> <laughs> We're cracking them now because there is no pre-show this week. No. Technical difficulties. Technical difficulties. There's an alien spaceship coming down. Technical difficulties. We're sorry, guys. But, I mean, this show is going to be decent enough, right? We gave you two good shows last week. Well, this show is enough. Stop asking for more and more millennial mindset. Stop asking for that <laughs> shit. When we give it to you, you'll get it. Just don't worry about it. What have you guys been up to this week? I got to know. We haven't done this in like months. What, what have you been up to, Tank? Uh, I'm still working my way through Naruto Shippuden. I'm almost you done. You guys saw my tweet the other day. I'm actually kind of pissed that literally out of 500 episodes, only 271 are canon. So half of Naruto Shippuden are filler episodes, which is a load of bullshit. Um, right crazy i don't know how that happens dude i'm telling you What's, go to animefillerlist.com and you you'll see dude, uh tokyo ghoul has it worse they're they're new canon so they're coming out with a new episode or a new season and they basically said season two is non-canon whole <laughs> fucking non-canon season <laughs> but pretend that didn't exist read read the the manga and then watch the show that's, that's pretty incredible so I just know people used to make fun of Dragon Ball Z for taking like 30 episodes to change a light bulb. No, they really do though. Which they do, but at least more than half the show is canon because that just oh, blew, blew my mind. Everything takes forever in those Tune in next time on Dragon Ball Z. Yeah. Next time on Dragon Ball Z. <laughs> It'll still be powering up. I'm here. <laughs> I'm hearing next that time, in a whole three, different way. Two punches. <laughs> Dragon Ball Z. Will the room yeah, ever yeah, finish yeah. eating? That's all it ever was. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> That's right. Uh, so yeah, that and then just prepping for our uh, for our D and D campaign that's coming up very, very soon. Hint, hint. Hashtag plug. Yeah, yeah. Plug, 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 plug. Shameless plug. Shameless. D and D all day. So shameless plug. That's me. Shameless <laughs> plug. Can, can it be shameless? <laughs> it's gonna be gameless. Like we're all gonna be like, wait, what? And Brandon's gonna be like, oh. You fucking noobs. And then Chris yeah. Jackson's going to hate us. And then Nick Eames isn't going to want to work with us. And then we're just going to leave. Fucking kill all of our characters. <laughs> I'm sorry. If we don't fight a, a Kraken during this campaign, I'm going to be a little sad. If we don't fight a Kraken, I'm going to kill a... <laughs> an author. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to kill an author. Um... <laughs> Oh, oh man. man! All right, dude. What have you been up to, man? I know you've been doing something. Something really interesting. I uh, kind of thought about the fact that I really don't know that much. I started running into creators from Nigeria and Africa online, hearing their stuff, and realized I hadn't read any of their stuff. And thought, okay, I'm going to invest myself in actually getting to know what kind of content's going out. So, I bought um, a few books from some of these guys ordered some there's some guys based here some are based back there so i ordered some of these books and had them shipped over i'm reading one one now. yeah i'm reading exo now who looks a lot like exo from valiant except he's black mm, i don't he's even know like I got no idea, oh, wow. and I, I actually had not made that. <laughs> try to see see that specific connection. It's a little, hold on. And then there's another book which I thought. I mean, the other book was particularly surprising because I started reading the preview of it, and every page I'd read a bit and stop and go, "Wait, what?" And go Google some facts about Nigeria I had no clue about to that yes. point. You know, like, okay, what the hell is Snake Island? <laughs> okay, what had happened in history? Real stuff. And I was like, that was pretty cool. So that's been my week. Oh, right, here we go. Look at this. Like change the colors around. Mm -hmm. Looks a lot like the guy on your t-shirt. Wait, hang on. 
I'm gonna just find the actual dude, and then we can do a comparison. <laughs> comparison. All of the the audio listeners, um, imagine well, the audio listeners will just have player one versus player two. And yeah, both. we don't really care about the audio list. I'm kidding. Audio yeah. listeners. <laughs> it's like seventy five percent of our traffic. Let's not do that. Okay. okay yeah. <laughs> Archers up. Now look. They do look pretty similar, actually. And literally, one is EXO, and this one is XO. That's pretty. <laughs> I saw that, and the first thing I thought was. Interesting. Wait, what? <laughs> huh. It's extremely close, man. So for the audio listeners, um, the Nigerian comic is EXO, and uh, the one that I pulled up is EXO, Man of War by Valiant, and they look very similar. Yeah, this is EXO, The Legend of Wally Williams. Interesting. Wally Williams. Yes. Why does every superhero have... The alliterate, alliteration, yeah? Yo, Pepper w. Fox. w. It's memorable, dude. But we all, okay. we all, we all need to change our names. <laughs> well, Jason, so, Jason, oh, yeah, Jason, yeah, Jason. Critic, so I guess I can't even really talk shit. No, nah, I mean like your real name, like Jason Jackass. <laughs> oh, like Naru the. There you go, nerd. Yeah, let's go That's with that. Good. I censored myself, guys. Let's go with that. You you did not censor yourself. You're gonna come up with anything that quick. Yeah, I was gonna say <laughs> nagger, like N A G E. You know, people that annoy you. Oh, I, 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 would own, I, I would own that in your dream. Brandon, what have you been up to? <laughs> Shit. <laughs> All right, so this week on the show, we're going to be talking. <laughs> uh, still just uh, playing my other campaign. I almost died. It's fucking sick. I started, I started this week at three health. <laughs> Yes. And was was going against a water elemental and somehow lived. Yes. All, <laughs> all praise be to DM. <laughs> um, I, that's kind of it. Um, oh, I went on a, uh, I think it was Friday, went on a um, history pub crawl of nice. downtown Boston. And so I learned like what, like, why the bars are named after what they're named after and the history of Boston. Like, Boston used to just be this island with, like, a road going to it, basically. And basically, everything is landfill, and that's what the city is now. They just dug the ground and then just created an entire city. It's pretty good. Yeah, it's like so drink? Not say they were garbage. Yeah, yeah, there were drinks. And then uh, people at each bar that you went to, um, they would, like, random people would just buy you shots. So it was very... <laughs> So it is sickening. We rode the train back. It was I felt just so sick from the train. Just moving. <laughs> so you learned a lot. How much do you remember? <laughs> I remember there's this guy, uh, the guy who donated the Commonwealth of Boston. This is like the only thing I remember because it's so fucking sick. So this this bar is called um, the White Buffalo, so White called Buffalo. Buffalo or White Bison. One of those two. I agree. White Buffalo. But, yeah, but he, so the dude who, I don't know his name, uh, who, who donated the Commonwealth of Boston to Boston, he owned like all of Boston and then people just came up from New York and they're like, tight, we own this place now. And he's like, fuck, I'll donate the rest of my land so I look like a hero. Um, <laughs> it's called the White Buffalo because the people, when they came up, he was riding butt ass naked on a white buffalo. It's fucking like, <laughs> it's oh, like, yeah. Or a bull or something. I don't know, but it's all white, some type of horned beast. That's a great white buffalo. Okay, probably is. How the, the hell did he get buffalo. to own all that land? Uh, it was, I don't know. He owned it before, like. I mean, the idea he that he owned pretty much what is now a city or a state or something back then is like. Yeah, Boston is a state. <laughs> okay, yeah. So what's Massachusetts? <laughs> FYI. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! <laughs> oh goodness! Yes, yeah, so that's basically what I did. I didn't that's awesome. Me. The point of my question, though, was for all I know, he owned the whole state and just said, "You guys can have this part. Leave the rest to me." Yeah. Well, he owned he owned like the city of Boston, like all of Boston. That is, so, that, of that is so sick. Right. <laughs> Sweet. So I um. You forgot, right? All right, move you on. You had all this time to prepare. So I, I have been uh, reading and catching up on a lot of comics. I've got uh, Captain America number two that I will be reading at some point. 
But the comic that I did read uh, today, because it came out today, was Fantastic Four number one. You did? The first relaunch. Yeah, the first relaunch of the Fantastic Four. And uh, if you guys check my Instagram television, I will have a comic book review of that because I believe IGTV is built for uh, comic book reviews. Just the way that the portrait mode is set up and everything like that, I, I think that's perfect. Uh, so I'm going to do that probably tomorrow morning. Um, and then tomorrow night, I have been doing some writing. I've been doing some skits. And uh, Tank and I have some time for y'all's way. So be on the lookout for that. Been writing. I've been reading. Uh, bought this crazy penis-looking thing. Um, <laughs> Funny that it's just like in the in the shot. Yeah, that's the funniest. Thing. <laughs> I'm just like glad. I'm just glad there's a blue. There, there's some blue to it. Like you know, um, um, yeah. it's a bad oh, point. Like, worse than like two of them. Yeah, kind of yeah. back up. <laughs> Um, so yeah, <laughs> you were talking to which one? <laughs> so yeah, I mean, I've been doing a lot of stuff, uh, trying to read, trying to catch up, um, getting ready for the D and D podcast. Um, that one's coming up soon, so we'll be launching that one. Uh, no, no, don't give them a date. I don't know. We're recording it soon. <laughs> It'll come out after it's edited. We're recording soon, uh, and Tank should have the first episode out before Dragon Con. Yes, the, yes. Now I'll have the first episode out before DragonCon, but I don't have a date. No, Did well, Brandon get his stuff to you? It'll be out next Tuesday. And I'm no, saying, no, 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 no. Not gonna have, so. Into the month. Into the month. Yeah, uh, by so. before DragonCon, I mean like the day before. So. <laughs> yeah. It, by it, at DragonCon. Yeah, right. It's going to be a live release at DragonCon. <laughs> that actually is not a bad idea. idea. We'll release uh. it and just watch it with you guys. <laughs> that's going to be our whole, that's actually our whole panel. One hour. Just, it's just an hour of <laughs> watching us play. Like, watching us like, damn, I'm like, uh, <laughs> he's this, kill you, right? this was good. You're right. <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm getting ready for Dragon Perfect. Con. I mean, we, we've just got so much in the works right now. Um, I've been talking to Brandon. I've been talking to my wife. I've been talking to Tank. I talked to everyone except Naru about this. Liar, and, you talked um, to me already. <laughs> so it, it, Right now in our lives, it's just so much stuff. Dude, August is packed. It's like this show is just like, it takes up all of our time. So between writing for shows, planning for new panels, talking and helping uh, Charles McFall get his stuff up and running. Yeah, I got you, homie. Um, I, it, it's just really busy time for us. So, uh, but we are excited. And uh, let's talk about who's not going to be at any more conventions because we're going to Dragon Con, but Stan Lee will not. Oh, I thought you meant this guy. Just, just <laughs> you're not pointing to anybody. Just you're uh, literally pointing yeah, at yeah. the sky right now. I'm pointing at the angle. I'm trying to get it right. It's, it's hard. Who, you really? Who are you trying to point at, Naru? Brandon. You know, it's yeah, funny. Wrong side, Hot Shot. Wrong oh, side, dude. This way. Oh, okay. Yeah, Bye. there we go. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Stan Lee is actually not going to any more panels. Uh, this was released a couple days ago. Uh, I read it on IGN, and it is literally everywhere now. Um, and everyone is so shocked that Stanley is not going to be going to convention. Like 115 years old. Take a break. Yeah. You got the guy's old. Okay. Define shocked. Like, like sorry, define everyone. Because no, no, no. So like, people are saying like, oh, you know, he's kind of like. Well, let's be honest. He's kind of where all of this stems from. Right, like, yeah, we have Batman, we have like certain heroes, but like Stan Lee, you know, Excelsior, you know, believe in everything. Like, Stan Lee is awesome, and and I've talked about him in one of our prior shows uh, when his wife passed, I believe, or my father oh, yeah. met him. Like, that was really cool, but I'm not upset that I never get to meet the guy because the dude's old. Like, 95. he's actually 95 years old. I just googled it. 95. You didn't know? I thought you were just kidding. Uh, I mean, I knew he wasn't 115. I wasn't sure. I knew he was in his 90s. He was not born the same year as you. You should have asked me, man. He was like a year ahead of me in college. You should have asked. I would have told you. So, I mean, first, what do you guys think? Like, are you guys upset? I mean, who who is really upset at him not being at a convention anymore? I mean, I'm not upset, but I'm sad because the one time, or the one time he was at Dragon Con when I was there, uh, we were in line for his panel, and then like 
maybe five minutes before the panel started, they came out saying that uh, that he wasn't going to make that panel. And so I, did, I ended up not being able to go to his panel at Dragon Con. So I was a little bummed. So it kind of sucks, but I mean, it's 95, dude. Time, you know, retire. Just sit on, yeah, sit on all that. Had in his blood. Do what? Both. I don't know. <laughs> he's probably sick, and that's why he couldn't show up, and that's why he's not doing it. Right, freaking uh, so much out of you to to do a con, dude. Like, I can, yeah. So I'm 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 happy for him tonight. Go home and sleep on that bed of money, like yeah. Sleep sleep on that Spider Man money, dude. I'm not sad at all. Like his whole life for the last two years has just been chaotic for a guy his age. He doesn't need all this hassle. There's been all kinds of legal fights, all kinds of crazy stories. If you read the article about the guys fighting for control of managing his affairs, you would realize right away. I mean, it, it got crazy to the point of them actually coming up with plans to sell merchandise that had literally been signed with his blood, like literally his physical, actual blood. And I thought, okay, this has gone beyond the realm of fandom into creepy. And it's over. It's time. Dude needs to chill. They need to back up. So hearing this is nothing but good news for me. Having said that, I would say, Jason, never say never in terms of meeting. Well, so he has said he's done. Now, now, if that's to say, like, if there's a convention in his home. No, no. I'm saying you never know. You might actually meet him somewhere else. Like the big San Diego Comic Con, right? Or an airport. Yeah. Like when my dad met him, it was literally at like some food court. Nice. It, it was just like a random encounter. That's my dad awesome. knew who he was and no one else did because Stan Lee in the general eye, like probably 25 years ago. Oh yeah. 25 years ago, no one would have known unless you were a comic book nerd. Before his uh, before his Marvel cameos, I, I would I would posit that very few people could, would recognize him on yeah, the street. Exactly, and and even to this day, if my wife saw him, probably no idea. I hope she goes try to get him to join come to our panel. <laughs> yeah, that'd be hey, cool. Hey, old guy, you 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 tired? Come sit over here. <laughs> Brandon, you weren't there for Atlanta Comic Con, but yes, my wife did rope in someone who had a fucking oxygen mask on. He's like, oh, what are you doing? You tired? Come on. <laughs> Come on in here. These guys, this comedy's right up your alley. He sat, he sat in there for like 30 minutes, too. He really yeah. did. Dude, <laughs> face mask dude, if you're out there, good job. I'm proud of you, man. <laughs> and that family reunion sounded fucking crazy. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm not upset. And I think the people that are upset are like the, those people that want the blood, right? Like the crazy ones. Like, <laughs> yeah. You know us. No, Stan Lee doesn't owe you shit. Like, he gave you everything already. You know? Like, so to me, it's just kind of, it's his time. You know? <laughs> you sound like you're waiting for him to die. <laughs> He's going to die soon. Come on, Tank. He doesn't sound that morbid. <laughs> <laughs> it's his time. He doesn't start chasing someone. Chase Tank. Smolder, smolder, smolder. The eyebrow thing that the audio listeners have no idea what's going on. That's why I use the word smolder, so that they they have. I'm, I'm setting. I'd, rec- I'd recommend a little eyeshadow before you do, <laughs> just, just to make it pop. You know, oh, I mean, you're not, you're not like you're not Brandon. Just think. Have you ever had earrings? No. You seem like the kind of guy that would have earrings. No, I know. I've never. Like little gold ones. I messed yeah, with my wife least. saying I was gonna get my eyebrow pierced when I got out of the army, but that's I never actually got it done. Thank I, God. You I see it. Tank as the kind of guy who have rings, earrings, well, rings, but not earrings. They just be somewhere you'd never see them until you get your testicles pierced. <laughs> no, I don't have any piercings. Yo, Prince Albert. <laughs> <laughs> I'd say I'm a giant baby, but I have like five, six tattoos. So tattoos are scratches. Um, all right, so off of off of body art. Uh, so yeah, I mean, I'm I'm not really too upset about it, and I don't really know anyone that is other than weirdos online. <laughs> the internet's upset with everything, though. The, yeah, the internet's like just you suck. them a hundred dollars, and they'd be like, "The fuck, I deserve a thousand. Yep. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> or so, believe it or not, somebody will say that's a dollar too much. It's supposed to be ninety nine. Yeah, the, the internet's a cesspool. I think there are people that are just looking to argue, right? Like, <laughs> yep. for sure. Oh, the anonymity of the internet. He wants to give up next year? Oh, fuck that. Oh, he's, he's on his deathbed? He should <laughs> still be here at, at Indianapolis Con. You're right. <laughs> 
You guys have a convention? Yeah, we do. There's two tables, bro, and Stan Lee should definitely fucking be here. Yeah, Rhode <laughs> Island's finally getting a con, and no. <laughs> I think Rhode Island getting one before Montana. <laughs> but sorry if you're in Montana. They're literally, I have no idea what you do out there. If you're in Montana, you listen to this show, I want to meet you. <laughs> you I can say. Listen to this show? Do you have a ranch? Because I really want to go to Montana. Shoot guns, ranch, just do some cool shit. I mean, anyway, 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 I digress. If you have nothing else to do, right, and you, you live on a ranch in Montana, well, I got some bad news for you because Netflix is no longer going to be carrying Marvel movies after Ant-Man and the Wasp. So... For, for me, the bigger the bigger problem here is all of these is everybody coming out with their own streaming service. Not just the fact that like Marvel's pulling theirs off of Netflix because that's just like the tip of the iceberg. Like freaking DC's doing their own thing, oh. CBS did their own thing for Star Trek, and it's like everybody's doing their own streaming service now. So you're you end up paying now you're still paying as much for cable because you have like 15 different streaming services and it's still a load of crap. So I'm going to piggyback off that because I think that is very, very true. And it is because like in my household, we do not have cable. I don't either. We utilize like Netflix, uh, Hulu, and Stop there. You're about Amazon. To see, you're about to see oh yeah, Amazon Prime. Yep. So we have those three, but then we have like HBO Go through uh, my wife's parents. And then we've got like a few other channels here and there, but everyone is going to streaming and everyone is trying to get away from cable because the prices are too high. So if there was a way that somebody had CBS All Access, wherever Tank is, (laughs) and then somebody else bought DC All Access, Nuru, and then I could just watch both of those. Oh, uh, okay. I can tell you straight up. I am so down with that. I will do it over your Comixology account. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> For sure. Like, bank on it. <laughs> so, Having said I, that, listen, um, regards to everybody doing their streaming thing, the funniest part of that to me was when I heard Disney's like, yeah, we're going to do our own streaming thing. And it's going to be, you know, cheaper than Netflix. I'm like... By what a buck? Like, come on! <laughs> how, how gullible do you guys think we are? Seriously. To be fair, to be fair, I think Disney having their own is fine because it makes more sense Marvel, because it's Disney. Star Wars, all of the Disney princess movies. So if you have kids, right, right, basically you just buy the Disney one. You don't have to have. If you're not watching Netflix, you're not doing shit like that. Then I think the Disney one is fine. Plus, plus they can they can roll ABC stuff into that if they want. Exactly. Yeah. ABC, Freeform, all of those are owned by Disney. Right. All of that can all get rolled in. So now you can watch your Star Wars, your Marvel stuff, and you know all of that. Do we do we know? If, sorry, I just totally cut you off. Do we know if ESPN is going to be on their streaming service too? No, no. ESPN has got a streaming service called ESPN Plus. So okay. that, don't be surprised they come up with, some kind of, with some kind of synergy like okay you got this and then you can also have this Add at a for an extra two dollars yeah. which they yeah. might and if they do i might go for that because i need espn plus for mls that's no. cable which is the, which, just, which at the end of the day buy. exactly and then and then the the argument of it's cheaper than cable is my internet is seventy dollars. I pay thirty dollars extra for cable, so technically cable is thirty dollars, because no one's going without internet anyways. Right. Well, Once you get the, the and Rue, you pay for yours. Tank, you pay for one. I pay for one. You pay for one. You pay for one. And I pay for one. You're paying thirty bucks anyways for all the streaming things anyways individually. Well, the catch the catch is that now they want you to have your internet, right? They want you to have your cable so you can still watch Arrow, the, what is it called? The Flareoverse? Yeah. You can watch that. You can watch Gotham. You can watch whatever. But Titans and Young Justice and all of that is only going to be on DC All Access. Well, Star Trek is only on CBS. Yes, then Disney is coming out with some uh, a full Star Wars, like a full reboot of the Clone Wars. 
Really? Or, no, I'm sorry. They're adding on to the Clone Wars. Yeah, that's that's going to be on Disney's. I didn't know. Where, that. Hold up. That's going to have the live action Star Wars TV series by John Favreau. Exactly. They're also. Which that, I can I tell you right now, that Favreau. definitely has me interested. But they're going to have the uh, live action Star Wars. They're going to have the Clone Wars. They're going to have the Marvel stuff. But them ending with Ant Man and the Wasp, what do you think? the future of Marvel Netflix will be with the Defenders. Well, you're looking at it from one side only. Mar Netflix already laying the groundwork for losing Super. I mean, Disney shook the trees about a year ago when they started making the noises, like they're going to take all this stuff away. So what did Netflix do? They signed with... Um, oh, that comic book dude. Uh, what's his name? Todd, was it Todd McFarlane? Or? Yes. Yes. Yeah. They signed with him and his outfit to start producing stuff. And right now they have like four different um, productions, well, four different IPs in pre-production yeah. right now. The Magic Order, by the way, great comic book. You should definitely read it. Netflix's first comic book. Hmm. Amazing. Oh. So if you're an adult, if you're not an adult, don't read that shit. <laughs> Definitely not good. It starts with like a sex scene where somebody gets. Oh in the yeah! If you're if you're if you're yeah, yeah. But if you're an adult, it's an amazing book. Um, From what you're saying, even for some adults, <laughs> if, you're, if you're yeah, if you're no, squeamish, or, and, if you're and, squeamish or approved or something, then yeah. Um, which I'll I'll probably throw that up on. Instagram TV when I have a day where I'm not covering anything. So uh, look out for that. More comic book corner coming soon. Oh, by the way, more more news. Netflix locks up this. Uh, can you guys see it? Yeah, but it's backwards on my screen. So. Oh, it is. It's backwards on everyone's screen. Yeah, uh, they lock up the lock and key comic book series. I've never read that. Netflix is going to produce that. Lock oh, okay, cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, That's that was supposed to go to um, uh, not uh, Hulu, I think initially. Yeah. But Hulu so, basically turned it down, and Netflix is going to take it over. So my, my whole thought process is I think that it's an okay strategy for Ant-Man and the Wasp to be the last movie produced by Disney to be on Netflix, like the last Marvel iteration, because I just finished Altered Carbon, if you've seen my review of Altered Carbon. But... I think that Netflix is doing the right things. And when people sit around and say, hey, I'm not, I, like literally I found myself saying this, that if a show was not produced by HBO, Netflix, or something like that, I don't really want to watch it right now. Because I feel like their production value is just so much higher than everyone else. And that's what all these other studios or whatever are going to do by bringing their stuff to their own. Because now they're not paying like paying to get something put on Netflix or paying to keep something on Netflix for X amount of time. They're saying, oh, I can take that money that I was using for that in my budget instead of marking 10% of the budget to keep it on these streaming platforms, I can put it into the production value and stream it myself. But I, I feel like a, a, a different question is now with Marvel and DC and everything moving off of other streaming platforms, do you think that opens the doors for us to get a Spawn TV show, or, or shows from non-Marvel and non-DC entities in these realms where obviously superhero style shows do really well. Well, yeah, that's that's definitely going to happen. I mean, first of all, they're already doing a Spawn movie, a reboot. That's, there's been a Spawn movie. So. Well, but that one... That I mean, a, a reboot, a Spawn reboot, they're doing it again. Secondly, by buying that first, that first strike where Netflix goes and buys... Uh, Todd McFarlane's prop, they merge with him more or less, means they're going to be looking at others like Image and all the other guys and be like, okay, are we going to be able to look into doing an Invincible comic book series or movie? So I think, yeah. Where's, comic uh, where's sorry, where's not, is it, is it Nijak? Is that the one that Jason David? Ninjak. Yeah. Ninjak. yeah Ninjak. Where's that supposed to, who, who's got that one? Do we do we know? So Valiant has that and but we, a. Like, and they did a web series. Oh, is that what it was? Their own streaming service. <laughs> YouTube. Comic streaming service. <laughs> yeah, no, that's a real thing. Um, but it was Ninjak versus the Valiant Universe. And it has Jason David Frank as Bloodshot and a whole bunch of other people in it. 
But yeah, I I think I, mean, I feel it, bad for him. What's up? I feel bad for Jason David Frank because not only does he just go start and do that, the next thing you see is Vin Diesel sign up to do Bloodshot. I'm like, oh, right? dude, <laughs> you can't catch a break. <laughs> I uh, thought that was going to be your comeback route. And then Vin Diesel's like, oh, I'll do it. <laughs> it's like Jason David Frank is never going to break that on the Green Ranger shit. Like, it is so sad. I, it is so sad. Literally, the very next couple of months, like, boom, announcement. Vin yeah. Diesel's coming in. Oh, God. Well, but see, the thing to me about Jason David Frank is he's always, he accepted that a long time ago. Like, he knows. And that's why he does the bat in the sun, like Green Ranger versus Scorpion. In or, Ryu. Yeah, White Ranger versus one, Green Ranger versus one. Yeah. That shit was sick. Like, Dude, I love it. So the much. bat in the sun Green Ranger suit was dope. So much better. Dude. So much. So Question. Good. Yeah. Who knew Dead, uh, Daredevil season three was coming out this year? Uh, For some reason, I lost track of that. I did not know, and I, I heard, heard it. Very like, Are you kidding me? Dude, yeah. I'm pumped because I I finally did finish Luke Cage season two, and it was good. But I'm definitely like now I want more because uh, like it's good, but I'm more excited. So I finished Luke Cage season two. I'm more excited about Daredevil season three and Iron Fist season two. Iron Fist season two comes out in September, and Daredevil is what November. Wow, that close, really? Yeah, it's, yeah, it's, that's kind of my point. Like, wait, are, are you guys serious? Like, really? Because yeah. I thought it was gonna be next year. Yeah, I mean, we already had um, the. I haven't finished that's, it yet. That's all four series dropped in one year in 2018. Jessica Jones came out a couple months ago. Luke right. came out really? last month. Yeah, Iron Fist comes out next month, and then Daredevil. At the end. That's that's the first. That's impressive. That's insane. That that is churning. What about Defenders season two? That's yeah, the they want to put a pause on that. That 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 didn't make a splash like they wanted it to. I mean, well, it's gonna, it's okay. Come. So, I, so I was listening to uh, Break in the Panel, and they had a, a good theory on that, right? So, like, they knocked it out of the park with Daredevil, like, killed it. Jessica Jones, a lot of people liked it. Luke Cage, season one, a lot of people liked Luke Cage, season one. Well, then Iron Fist comes out. And everyone was pissed. Yeah. But it just did not go well. But their theory is because they knocked it out of the park with the first three. Now, when people look back at Iron Fist season one, it's like, yeah. like it sucked, but you get a they, they said they get a pass. Yeah, like eh. no, they get they've earned the second chance. Okay, fair enough. Yeah. But then they have the defenders. Defenders was meh. It was all right. Like, I, shit, it was meh for me. Punisher, which is good. Oh, forgot about Punisher. Then they have uh, did too, yeah. Jessica Jones season two. Didn't even watch it. I don't even fucking care. I watched it. it was, I fell asleep I, I in heard the middle. it was meh. Yeah, I mean, when Luke Cage season two, the villain is great, but the entire series, I, it, like, if I had to rate it, I, it would probably be like a seven. Whereas, like, Daredevil Season 1 is a 10. Luke Cage yeah. would probably be, like, a 7. Daredevil Season 2 is cool, but it kind of lost momentum for me toward the end for some reason. Like, I don't know what it was. It was something. They were bringing too much shit in. They yeah. had to oh, yeah. Like, yeah. It was like, it was come like on. oh, we have the Punisher, and we have Luke Cage, and we have the Night Nurse, and we have Daredevil, and we have Froggy trying to be his own person, and we have this, and we have that. Did they you just call him Froggy? Huh? Froggy? Froggy? Put some respect on his name. Froggy Fresh. Froggy Fresh. <laughs> Cream. But anyway, they were trying. They needed to. They needed to uh, like look. focus a little bit. Yeah. So I think that Netflix losing Marvel not really gonna kill them because they're gonna. Uh, and like Brandon said, like that question is awesome. I think that the void will be filled, and I think Valiant with Ninjak and that entire universe could easily be the one to do it. Do you think that there will be like the rise of a new uh, superhero uh, creation wave basically? Like instead of getting shows about C class and D class people that people have never heard of, could you just make a new show, almost like heroes, make a new show that's not based off of a book, but is in that, same genre, but it's just a show. It could, like, to me, that could happen. But so I don't know if it should or not. Let's wrap this up by 
when net when Netflix loses Marvel, what entity would you like to fill that void? Tank. Oh shit! I don't know. If you um, say Naruto, I'm gonna lose. <laughs> no, so who? <laughs> so the problem is the problem is Hulu has kind of the market share on the anime side right now. Um, I think it'd be kind of hard for for Netflix to really compete. Um, Netflix has a uh, Netflix has a lot kind of, of original content. We're talking about superhero shit. Well, dude, what hey, Goku is a superhero? Gets my ass. Uh, <laughs> Same thing. Yeah, right. So I, I mean, I don't, I don't know because I don't. You guys all know I don't read American comics very often. You're literally wearing a Doctor Fate shirt right now. Well, uh, so okay. Well, so the problem is CW has all the has all the DC stuff right now. But I mean, if they want to. You know, if they want to get some some more DC love on Netflix and do some like really high end, you know, stuff, I you know, I would watch the shit out of a Doctor Fate show because he's such a like unknown character. Even in like the Justice League shows, he only gets like a little bit here and there. You only kind of get snippets. Um, and I he's think that would power. be he's too powerful, six, right? Yeah. No. I want to see what they do with the Valiant stuff, but I think um, I think they're trying too hard to separate themselves thematically from the existing comic books type stuff we already see so they could end up going full weird and alienate a lot of the audience but i want to see what comes out first and make up my mind after that but i do agree well i will answer brandon's question and say i think we're going to see a whole lot of content created um, ips that we didn't think we'd ever see on screen brandon i would so i would love to see a Netflix original take on something that's not pre-written. So something like Heroes or something like, okay. um, you know, something that's more realistic. It's not Justice League. It's not fucking super. Yeah. Which like, oh, this there's some realistic. there's some stuff in there that would fit the bill. Such as I wanted to watch it. I'll, I'll check the name. No, not Sensei. I'll check the name of one I saw. I haven't watched it yet. I'll send it over to you. But there's there's some stuff out there that. I think could probably fit the bill of superhero genre, but yes. it's original content. Yeah, yeah, I, I would love to see like a high, a, uh, like, and not some cheap imitation. High Good. production yeah. value, Netflix style. They own everything. A superhero okay. stuff of the quality of Altered Carbon. Like, if I saw that, yeah. like, yes, okay. Altered Carbon, amazing. Like show was yeah. great. I would love to see that. I'm tired of hearing about the same old people on there. Which, like, it's cool when we bring C-list people in and everything like that, but it's still like, oh, I've heard about that person. I know that person. That's a, yeah. not a familiar face in that I've read their stuff or seen movies previously, but, like... Netflix is the new. only people that could do that. So let's hope they do. I think HBO, HBO could. So, Man, HBO could do a seriously good Invincible. Wow. Wow! I would love to see that. As if anybody did that, streaming AMC because their ties their ties with uh, Robert Kirkman already. True, but true. If speaking off ties, right? And I, Brandon, I love that idea, but I think that with their ties with Todd McFarlane and that whole universe already, I think it would be an easy transition for them to jump onto Image. Mm. Yes, they're coming out with a Spawn movie. They could ride the you know wave of the Spawn movie because they'll be losing Marvel. Spawn movie comes out with Jamie Foxx, a spike in Image comic sales. And then I believe that Image Comics put out The Magical Order, which is Netflix's first comic book. So I think those ties are already in place. And then you could get Wildcats and a whole bunch of other Image comics. So I, I think that would be the most realistic jump. But dope. Yeah, that about wraps it up for us this week. Um, hey guys, tell them where they can find you. Rue, that is a weird face. Go ahead, tell them where they can find you. So you, you can, can find me at the Niger Nerd everywhere. Spell it because nobody understands. Really? If you can't spell that, you're yes, a man. T H E Niger Nerd. Simple. <laughs> okay, I'm kidding. The uh, Niger Nerd, T H E N A I. It'll be in the description. That's what I thought it was gonna happen. So that's why I was like, you know, just you know, you know what? Just, just whatever. All right, all yeah, podcast listeners, podcast. just kind of, you know, imagine there's a description with it spelled for you. <laughs> in the audio version, there is a description. It's on iTunes. 
Hmm? Does it read it out loud to you? Um, <laughs> no. <laughs> Does it read it to you like that? <laughs> Brandon, have you never listened to anywhere? One of these days, Brandon's going to show Brandon's like, wait, what? What are you going to be like, wait, so I finally like listened to our show. It's good. <laughs> Tank, where can I find you, buddy? Mm. As you say. Nice. <laughs> Were you a waiter in a past life? Uh, yeah, you guys can find me at the Caped Critic. D and D coming up, Dragon Con panel, uh, September second. Be there; it's gonna be dope. Brandon, you can uh, find me on Hinge at B Miller four two five. Pretty much all day, every day. Match if you wanna. <laughs> yeah, I don't even want to know what that is, honestly. <laughs> I'm already oh, planning to Google I, it right now. After everybody, you know, coming coming down on me for not looking shit up, I looked up just a list. <laughs> so I got like a good like twenty shows ready. <laughs> oh god! Yes. All right, <laughs> all right. You guys can find me at Houdini zero three three three. I'm on Instagram. I'm on Twitter. Uh, find us there. You can find all of us on Instagram and Twitter at Nerds From Work. You can find all of us on Facebook, iTunes, SoundCloud, anywhere where you listen to podcasts at The Nerds From Work or simply TNFW. TNFW will probably yield better results. Or you can find Brandon on any of these number of dating sites that... NSFW. <laughs> Go get yourself a high five account. Brandon is not safe for work. <laughs> Brandon is not safe uh, so yeah, you guys can find us anywhere that I iTunes, anywhere like that. Uh, anywhere you listen to podcasts, TNFW. Uh, you find us on YouTube, anywhere like that. Hey, you guys also check us out. We have the D&D coming up. We have Atlanta Dragon Con. Be sure to look out for the promos for Atlanta Dragon Con. Uh, they're going to be awesome. Also, everything else that we've been doing, uh, trying to keep up with a whole bunch of people, send us an email at thenerdsfromwork at gmail.com. Send us a question. I'll make Brandon answer it in the weirdest way possible. The only way he can know. I was about to say, so he'll answer the question. Actually, if you send us a question, he probably won't answer it. He does bad that whole for days. <laughs> <laughs> but, hey guys, it's been fun. It's been real. But from all of us at the workplace, peace.